Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my Kerbal Space Program. Um, as you can see I have designed an entirely new rocket and duly named it the overpowered rocket of propulsion because as if you can't tell it seems to be very overpowered. But uh, I've got the staging set up so that um, as soon as I hit the uh, spacebar for the launch these separate which is always something that you need to happen. Um, and then these two sets of outer, the outer engines, so all six engines fire. Um, and then the next stage is them separating. And these solid fuel boosters come into play. And then they separate off. And then these liquid rockets are in the next stage right here and then they fall apart and then I've got this there's a rocket under here underneath the little shroud and uh, that fires and then I've got another rocket way up here to help propel this down and land on the moon that is my objective but this is a very uh, unconventional rocket and we're gonna go to the launch pad I have not I have not tried to see if this launches or not I have not tried it at all, and I don't want a nighttime launch. Let's fast forward time. Just whoa, whoa, whoa! Things appear to be a little bit wobble, wobbly, weeble wobble, but they don't fall down. Um, I wonder if this is gonna hold up. Who knows? Are you not going to change, daytime? Become light outside. Please, por favor. Alright, early... Oh, hello. Hello, guy. Alright, I'm going to throttle up. And in three... Maybe I should... Right there. Okay. And let's get ourselves oriented right here. Perfect. And in five, four, three, two, blast off. Ah, go. Oh my goodness. Turn on SAS. Uh oh. This uh, does not look promising. <laughs> it looks as if it's about to fall apart. Hopefully it doesn't. That would be tragic. Okay. We're right at about third fuel. As you can see, I have tons of fuel. Um... They're almost out, and it's almost time to use the solid boosters. Um. No, more liquid fuel. I lied. Don't, uh... Why did you not disconnect? I hit space. Oh, sugar! Hello! <laughs> well, there... <laughs> okay, something was wrong with the staging. No, uh, big issue, though. We have recovered, but we lost a lot of fuel, and as you can see, it's crashing down to the ground, and kablamo. Uh, let's try to do a little bit of a tilt, just just a little bit on that 90 degree angle. Oh, time to get rid of the solid boosters and use this. Oh, hello. Right there. Hold. Hold. Hold, I say. Turn the RCS off. Okay. Well, we're past the first stage of the atmosphere, and we're still rapidly accelerating. 
which is always very good. Turn the fine-tune controls off, something I forgot to do in the last mission. But Mr. Bill Kerman is gonna go save Jebediah. Indeed. Let's get our map view ready. Oh, things are looking okay. Those are gonna crash back down, or already has. Yeah, at launch pad. Ooh, what was at the launch pad? Maybe just those uh, struts. Oh, oh, come on. Let's get back on the 90. Okay. Our uh, apoapsis is a little bit high there, and it's not going down at all, so we've escaped to space, it would seem. Alright, let's, let's get our ship turned just a little bit around here. SAS hold. No, go back. Go back the way I need you to. Right there. Okay. Why am I rapidly spinning out of control? No, no, no. Okay. Perhaps I don't have enough SAS boosters for such a large spaceship right there and hold Let's see if I can spin around just a little bit come on Okay, somewhat successful, perfect. Now, I'm going to add a maneuver here and hopefully we'll be able to get into an orbit and then use that orbit to get to the moon. 133, 104, looks great. So in 51 seconds, we're gonna do our burn. Oh, RCS, go off. Oh, my RCS is almost gone. Well, that takes our maneuverability down to zero because apparently I failed to put SAS modules on this spacecraft. So, in that case, let's. Oh, we are out of RCS fuel. Can you stabilize us? You can, just a little bit. Um, we're not going to the moon. <laughs> because I need RCS fuel to be able to do any sort of flight stabilization pattern. So we're going to go back down to Kerbin. And we're going to enjoy it. Oh, hello. And we're spinning rapidly out of control. Okay, let's see. See if I can't get us pointed. This is not a gimbling engine. Yes, yes it is. Fantastic. Get back to the position. So that's bringing our descent down. We're going to be coming in very hot. Um, but I'm going to try to get a nice ground landing somewhere. Hopefully.
We'll just see what happens, but we are not going to the moon today. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's cut the engine. See about fast-forwarding a little bit of time here. Oh. It would appear we are entering the atmosphere. Let's spin around. Oh, stabilize. Get a little bit of thrust to slow us down. Alrighty. And hopefully, we'll be able to slow down enough. Oh, hello! Ah! Uh, oh, sugar. Turn the engine down. Oh, no. Guy, do you not have any sort of SAS at all? Don't make me abort the mission. Let's put the parachute up. And accelerate. Slow us down. Oh no. This is... This is not going to be a ground landing. And I just noticed that our, our engine is farther out than our struts. Oops! That was unintentional. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not mean to go back upwards. Okay, let's... Um, <laughs> minor technical difficulties with our spacecraft. Um... Slow us down just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Nobody has time for parachutes. We don't need those. Alright, well, we're a thousand meters away from the uh, sea still. Let's, uh... Oh, whoa, that slowed us down quite a bit. Okay, well, this is an interesting turn of events. Wonder how much of a hover I can just come to. No, I don't want to go back up. Let's go down just a little bit. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Where did our parachute go? Our parachute... Oh, we are out of fuel. EVA, save yourself. Hatch is obstructed, can't exit. Oh! And he's dead. He's a goner. Uh oh. Guys, we killed a, Kerman, a Kerbal. Well, let's go ahead and end that flight. Uh oh. Bill Kerman was killed. Splashed down too hard. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Catastrophic failure was the outcome, if you guys saw that. Oh, okay, well. Put symmetry on, guy. What are you, what are you thinking? Maybe that'll make us a little more aerodynamic and ef efficiency is key. Maybe that will help just a little bit. Where's your escape hatch? Right there. Okay, you don't... Whoa. You don't want to have... Give me... Give me the... Uh... No. 
I want just there we go maybe these should be right there yeah it looks great everything looks fantastic let's give ourselves a bunch more of this fuel um, let's see well I guess I can put it right underneath this I need an SAS module for control and stability I think I've got an advanced SAS module down here and that's what was using all my RCS fuel I, I believe I hope I think something let's add some struts that should have added it to all three yes it did so let's add a few more struts here here and there stable aircraft spacecraft craft whatever it is it's something and let's add a few on this side okay uh, that looks good and let's make something go from there to there hopefully that'll hold everything together just a little bit better than what it was um, and I did have a staging issue if you guys remember um, these rockets uh, they did not all fall apart when they were supposed to oh you're not even connected with anything oh yeah you are right there you just won't let me select it okay so it's gonna be like that huh it shows that they're disconnecting at the same time I don't know what went wrong probably something broke but uh, let's save and go to the launch pad clear the pad and proceed see if we can at least just get into orbit by the end of this episode highly doubtful and we've got Bob Kerman today with us round of applause for him for being brave enough to uh, join us on this endeavor throttle up all the way because last time we took a while to take off and in five four three two one blast off okay things appear to be a lot more stable this time those little winglets are freaking out they don't know what to do but uh, everything seems to be going okay gaining quite a bit of altitude and a little bit of surface speed Well, Bob, you may be the first uh, Kerbonaut to land on the moon. Who knows? Who knows? Things change from time to time. Let's see. We're almost out of fuel. Hopefully we won't have crazy rockets flying off into millions of directions. Cycle the SAS. Yeah, see, these didn't disconnect. What is the problem here? Why did you not disconnect? You were supposed to. Are you broken? Hmm. Things that I do not know. Such as why are we slowing down and descending? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Did you guys see that close call of an explosion? Let's get just a little bit of a roll. Gravity turn. What that is, I do believe. Oi. 
Oops. Oh! C catastrophe has struck again. Um, can we stabilize? Stabilize. No, we're tumbling. Let's get rid of that. Okay, can you stabilize? Stabilize. Let's go in for a landing. Oh, let's lower the engine just a little bit. Oh, sugar. Come on. I don't want the SAS on. Stop fighting with me. Oh, this is not good. Perfect, perfect. Hold, hold, hold us here. Hold us right here. Okay, we are gonna land. Just pretend this is the moon. This is not green, this is gray. We're barely falling. Very good, very, very good. Oh, we need to be falling a little bit more rapidly instead of going back up. So when I get to about 2,500 meters, I'll throttle back up just a little bit. And we're gonna make a nice landing. Nice, very soft landing. Let's throttle up just a little. Okay. Everything seems fantastic as of now. Oh, I don't want to go back up. Oh, crap. Well, we've got half a fuel tank left. Well, I think we'll be okay. Let's put the gear down. Uh-oh. I didn't fix that problem, did I? Well... Maybe things will be okay. Nobody knows for sure. Oh. Don't overreact. Just slow us down. Keep an eye on the uh, altimeter. Oh. Too much. Too much. This is perfect right here. This will bring us in for a nice very slow very easy landing on our engine instead of our struts uh oh Need just a little bit more oomph slow us down just a bit more oh I don't want to be going up oh this is so touchy Definitely not a hands-free landing, that's for sure. Uh, well, ooh, the moon has water and a beach and discolored ground. <laughs> it's supposed to be gray, not black or green, even. I'm not colorblind, I swear. Don't hover. You're almost out of fuel. No! Ah! Ah! Oh! We landed! But our engine blew up. Let's see if I can... I don't have any RCS fuel. If I had RCS fuel, I would try my hardest to get us upright. Oh. Let's... Oh. Okay, well... Apparently we were in control of the craft with forces unseen and Bob is freaking out. Oh, hatch is obstructed. I think we rolled over onto it. Can we roll? Just what happens if I put the gears? If I raise these. Oh, 
Oh, what's that? What's what's going on? Can I roll now? Will you will you let me roll? Nope. Okay. Well, that was a nice landing with a dart. Pinpoint accuracy. I wanted to be exactly 5.9 kilometers away from where we took off, and uh, yeah. What do you what do you guys mean? You thought I was going to the moon? You guys are crazy. But uh, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comment section below. This has been Wisecracker. Wise Kerman. Adios. Goodbye.